Hi, and welcome to our setup tutorial. Today, I'll guide you through the steps to get your customizable VTuber model up and running with VTube Studio. Let's get started! First, you'll need VTube Studio. It's free on Steam, but if you want to remove the watermark, you'll need to buy the DLC. You'll find the links in the video description. Once you've got VTube Studio, let's install your model. Download and unzip your model to a folder you can easily access. Then, open VTube Studio from Steam. In VTube Studio, click on the model selection icon. Then, select Import your own model. Next, you'll see a pop-up showing where to store your models. Click Open Folder. Then, in a new window, go to the folder where you extracted your model and open it as well. You'll see two folders named Full Tracking and Auto Blinky. Copy both of them into the Live 2D folder from VTube Studio. Now, you can choose the version that fits your setup. Auto Blinking is good if you have a lower quality webcam or an Android phone, and Full Tracking works best with high quality webcams and iPhones. Now, let's set up Tracking. You can use a webcam or your phone. I'll show you how to use both. Webcam Tracking. First, click the settings icon from the main menu in VTube Studio. It looks like a gear on the left side of your screen. Next, navigate to the camera setup tab and the top bar. Here, in the webcam tracking window, select your camera and set the desired resolution, frame rate, and color format. Most of the other settings are pre-configured for optimal performance, but feel free to adjust the tracking quality and other options to fine-tune the setup to your liking. Once you're set, click the camera on button to activate the tracking. Finally, it's time to calibrate. Look directly into your webcam and click calibrate while staying still. This ensures the best tracking accuracy. Keep in mind, you might need to recalibrate from time to time if YouTube Studio seems to lose track of your movement. Phone tracking. If you don't have a high quality webcam, no worries, you can use your phone's camera for tracking. iPhones with Spice ID offer the most accurate tracking, but many Android phones that support Google AR Core also work well. <laughs> Wi Fi connection. Let's set up Wi Fi connection first. On your PC, click the settings icon in the YouTube Studio. In the settings menu, navigate to the connection settings and click Start Server. Now, install YouTube Studio on your phone from Google Play or the App Store and launch it out. Position your phone so it can clearly see your face. Important to note, streaming your tracking data from a phone to your PC for more than 5 minutes requires YouTube Studio Pro, which is an in-app purchase. To calibrate your tracking, double tap on your screen to bring up the menu and click the target icon on the left. After calibrating, go to the VTube Studio settings on your phone, scroll down to Stream to PC, enable it, and click Find Server to select the IP address shown on your PC. If everything is set up correctly, you should now see the tracking data being transmitted to your PC. USB connection. If you prefer a USB connection, here's how to do it. Take note, USB connection works only with iOS devices. First, install YouTube Studio on your iPhone from the App Store if it's not installed yet, launch it and make sure your phone can see your face. Calibrate your phone's tracking by double tapping on the screen to bring up the menu, then clicking on the target icon. Connect your phone to your PC using a USB cable. On your phone, double tap the screen to open settings, then navigate to USB settings and press connect USB. Back on your PC, click the settings icon, Go to USB settings and click connect USB. Select your device from the list and press select. With everything set up, you should not see your tracking data on your PC. Model customization. Now that we've got your model and tracking set up, it's time to personalize your VTuber. First, click the settings icon from the main menu on the left. Head to the top bar and select the hotkey settings tab. Now, on the right side, click the Expression Editor button. Click on Create New Expression. Here, you'll see a full list of customization options. Find the parameter you want to adjust and turn its toggle to ON. Then, use the slider to fine-tune the feature and keep tweaking until you're satisfied with how your model looks. Please take note. This is a general guide that can be applied to any VTuber model from our store. 
Each of them has different customization options, so make sure to check the text version of your specific model setup guide for a full list of parameters you can tweak. After you've set up everything, don't forget to give your expression a name, enter it in the top bar and click the save button. Next, let's assign a hotkey for this expression. Go back to the hotkey settings tab and click the big plus icon to add a new hotkey. For the action, set your hotkey action to set and set expression and click select. Click on your newly created expression and then press select to confirm it. Finally, set your key combination by clicking the record button next to key 1. Press the key or combination of keys you want to assign. That's it! Press your hotkey and see how your VTuber changes according to the custom expression you just created. Add in your model to streaming software on Windows, OBS Studio. First, let's start with OBS Studio on Windows. Open VTube Studio and click the background button. Next, choose the color picker and enable the transparent in capture option. Now, launch OBS Studio and click the plus icon under Sources to add a new source. Select Game Capture, name your source and confirm by clicking OK. Set the mode to Capture Specific Window, choose VTube Studio from the drop-down menu and click on Allow Transparency. Hit OK and you're all set to stream with your VTuber model. Streamlabs Desktop Moving over to Streamlabs Desktop, the steps are almost similar. Start by opening VTube Studio and again setting the background to color picker with transparent in capture. In Streamlabs, add a new source by clicking the plus icon in Sources and selecting Game Capture. Name your source, then set the capture mode to capture specific window and choose VTube Studio. Make sure Allow Transparency is enabled. Close the settings and your VTuber model is now ready to shine in your streams. Add in your model to streaming software on macOS, OBS Studio. Open VTube Studio on your macOS and click the background button. Now select background 8. If your model includes green colors, choose a different background using the color picker to avoid any chroma key issues. Add a new source in OBS by selecting macOS screen capture, name it and choose window capture as your method. Right-click the source you just created, go to Filters and add a chroma key filter to remove the background. Adjust the chroma key settings to perfectly key out the background and you're ready to stream. Streamlabs Desktop First up, open VTube Studio. Click on the background button to access your background settings. Now, select Background A and if your model includes green colors, choose a different background using the color picker to avoid any chroma key issues. Next, let's move over to Streamlabs Desktop. Click the plus icon in the Sources section to add a new source. Choose Window Capture and then click Add Source. Name your source to keep things organized. After naming it, select VTube Studio from the window, drop down menu and hit Done. Right click on your newly added source, go to Filters and then click Edit Filters. Click Add Filter, choose Color Key and apply it. This will allow you to key out the green background. Adjust the similarity and smoothness settings until the background is completely transparent and your model looks sharp. Once everything looks good, close the filters window. And there you have it, you're all set to stream with your VTuber model.